Good afternoon, this is Robert McMahon, Mr. Solar Energy, calling from Sydney, Australia. And today I wanted to tell you about a very uh, interesting email that I received from Jeremy Payne. Now, Jeremy is a student at the University of Alaska uh, in Anchorage, and he's asked me to help him uh, with some information about a project he's doing about alternative energy. He wants to do a business plan, Jeremy does, he wants to do a business plan for solar energy products. Now, Jeremy, I don't know what products you're thinking of in Alaska, but Alaska is as good as anywhere else for alternative energy and solar energy. Solar electricity would work in Alaska the same as any other country and solar heating especially because we all know Alaska is a cold place especially in winter and in Alaska we've heard about the melting of the ice cap and the northwest passage being open and the uh, polar bears you know swimming up there because they're losing their habitat that's um, something we should all be concerned about but when it comes down to business and when it comes down to renewable energy the biggest driver is money. Money is the driver that people are interested in, whether to make money, whether to save money, whether to have a business that makes money. People are more concerned about money, and it's a bigger driver than the environment. People are concerned with the environment, but they're more concerned with money. So to be in business in uh, renewable energy, alternative energy. One has to have a business plan that shows people financial benefit. If we can show the financial benefit of having alternative energy, we know that with the oil shortage, fuel is getting very expensive everywhere. And it must be very expensive up in Alaska, especially when you've got all those long distances to all those cold places. Uh, in Alaska that I've heard about, read about, I haven't been there but I'd like to go there one day and have a look around and maybe that might happen soon, who knows. But uh, if my wife has any say in it, we'll be going sooner rather than later. But coming back to your question, the biggest driver for your business plan is your monetary uh, plan, how people can get economic benefit uh, with or without uh, energy saving uh, help from any government, from grants, subsidies, incentives, they're all very important to take into account. Uh, and uh, as well, if there's any compliance issues, now compliance can also be a big driver in moving forward with alternative energy or with anything at all. So governments have to play their part in making the rules that we have to comply with and then we can move forward to help save the planet. Uh, now, places for you to study, to get ideas from, is have a look at Western Europe. Uh, in Western Europe, governments there have um, given very handsome rebates for uh, net metering, that is, uh, if you make electricity in your home or in your small business and you put it back into the grid, uh, the power authorities will pay you money, you know. That, people have figured out they can make money by having solar electricity and alternative energy and uh, that's a big driver for moving towards it. Uh, make, people can make make more money by having it than not having it. So that is a, a great driver and governments have recognized this and uh, by investing in people putting small plants all over the places and cities and towns they don't have to put as much big uh, coal burning or nuclear power stations which are big huge infrastructure projects that cost millions and sometimes billions of dollars and they take years to plan and construct and cause a lot of damage to the environment or potential damage and the people are also afraid about nuclear. Some people say nuclear is okay but then other people think it's still not quite safe. Uh, advocates think it's safe enough to use, others a bit concerned about it. but. With the uh, solar and renewable energy, we know the sun is pretty well unlimited source of power, and uh, 
if we go in that direction, if we can go in that direction, we know we're doing something for the planet and for the future. Now, going back to your business plan, uh, another places to look at where they've used uh, and this could may well apply in Alaska too uh, in places where there isn't already uh, a, a power infrastructure like electricity infrastructure uh, people that want electricity have leapfrogged straight to alternative energy so that without putting the grid in if you're in a remote area to leapfrog straight over to alternative energy this could be uh, the way to go because uh, it could be cheaper to go straight to alternative energy today at today's prices than uh, putting in the, all the infrastructure that goes with a conventional, regular, old-fashioned way of producing electricity. So uh, there you go. If you leapfrog, so have a look at the um, countries now. A lot of countries like in Africa and uh, India and places where they haven't had mobile phones or uh, ele uh, a telephone network of leapfrog straight over to mobile phone technology and the same thing is happening with alternative energy in these places so they could so developing countries could uh, finish up um, beating the uh, developed countries uh, into alternative energy and uh, as a sweetener in your business plan you always need to mention the environment People are concerned about the environment, but they're still concerned about the financial cost to them of doing anything or whether they'll save money, make money, or have a business that makes money. So be a good citizen, uh, definitely, but in your business plan, look at the financial business plan and uh, get back to me. Let me have a look at it. I'll be pleased to comment on it give you some fresh ideas and don't forget uh, go to uh, Mr. Solar Energy website that's www.mrsolarenergy.com uh, read the uh, newsletters there read the information and you should get a few good ideas and you can always email me uh, and my email address is on the website so you can email me and if you have any questions I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability so good luck with your uh, project and uh, look forward to hear from you again in the future bye for now